Hey, this is Dev from Bogren Digital, and today we're talking about our NKI MIDI instrument that's included with the Jens Bogren Signature Drum Samples Pack, Deluxe Version. So, for all of you big, bloody, beautiful Bogren Digital enthusiasts who decided to go for the Deluxe Pack, you're in luck, because included in the pack is an NKI MIDI instrument built specifically to help you trigger your new drum samples. That means if you're using some kind of MIDI drum instrument in your productions, like Get Good Drums, Superior Drummer, or Easy Drummer, and want to add a little zest from your new Bogren Digital Spice Rack, you can, by copying over your MIDI performance to another track and loading up the NKI MIDI instrument. Quick disclaimer, the full version of Contact is required. The NKI MIDI instrument will work with the free version of Contact, but only for a limited period of time. Okay, let's get a closer look at the plugin. So here I've got a MIDI drum performance running through Superior Drummer 3, and it sounds like this. What I wanna do is I wanna copy that onto its own track and load up an instance of Contact. So I'll do that now. All right, with Contact open, you need to locate the Files tab. So that's up in the top left next to Libraries. Once we're there, we need to locate our Jens Bogren Signature Drum Samples Pack folder. Give that a double click. And then we're gonna locate our BD Jens Bogren Signature NKI folder. So I wanna thicken up the kick drum on this performance. So I'm gonna drag in the kick NKI file into the contact loader. And behold, in all of its sample triggering glory, the Bogren Digital NKI MIDI instrument. First thing we're gonna do is come up to the MIDI channel here, click that, select Omni. That's gonna make sure that any incoming MIDI data is detected by the plugin. So let's take a look at this thing. On the left, we've got the direct knob, which controls the level of the direct or close mic. Next to him is the ambience knob, which controls the level of the blend of the room, the ambient, and the character mics. In the middle at center stage here, we've got the sample selector. And if we click that, it's gonna reveal some naughty named samples. I'm liking the sounds of cheek slap. So I'm gonna load that one in. Now. Under the sample selector is the learn button. So if the default MIDI mapping isn't floating your Viking boat, we've got a couple options. First, what we can do is click the learn button and we can jump into the MIDI performance. Once we're there, we want to locate a single lonely kick drum hit. And this is important. We want to make sure that the first thing to trigger is the kick or whatever it is that we're trying to trigger. This is important because if you accidentally trigger the hi-hat when you're trying to trigger the kick drum, you know, it's gonna be a mess. Unless your drummer has four feet, then maybe that's how it should sound. In this case, we're triggering the kick, so here we go. Right away, we can hear that's working. I'm just gonna drop the volume down just a tiny bit. Perfect, so that was number one. The second way we can do this is if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can come over to your track, you can arm it for recording, make sure input monitoring is on, make sure it is receiving MIDI data, then we can jump back into the plugin, hit learn, and hit a MIDI key. Nailed it. Now if you were to do that for yourself, you would of course want to hit the correct key that would trigger the drum you're trying to trigger. Our third option, is to actually manually input the value for the MIDI key that we want to trigger the sample. So in this case, we can go into our MIDI performance, we can find our kick line here, and up here we can see that our kick drum is C1. So I'm gonna go back into the plugin, I'm going to input C1 manually, hit enter, and let's have a listen. Perfect. That's three ways to trigger. So now we can play our performance and sample the taste. A 
quick side note, when we load up an instance of the Tom NKI MIDI instrument, you'll notice a pan slider below the learn button. This can be used to pan out the direct mic of the Tom being sampled. The ambience will remain unaffected and will always remain balanced in the stereo image. This is because losing the ambient stereo image would probably sound very strange. And probably sound like that. Are you ready to put some hair on the chest of your MIDI drums with the new Bogren Digital NKI MIDI instrument? Talk and score!